Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making kingfish carpaccio. This is like my all-time favorite dish. I make it, you know, at every dinner party. Everyone loves it. It looks good. It tastes good. And it's pretty easy to make. It looks a bit difficult, but it's very, very easy. So for my dressing, I'm using soy sauce. I'm using a yuzu dressing with garlic. And then for my garnish, I'm using jalapeno peppers, radish, and sprout mix. Uh, you can buy these, they're called micro herbs. You can use watercress, you can use, you know, kale sprouts, uh, pea sprouts, whatever you want to do. And then I'm using uh, kingfish sashimi, which I bought from the local fish shop. Let's get started. First of all, uh, yuzu dressing, what is it? It's basically a fruit that originated from China. It's like a lemon. It's in between like a lemon and a grapefruit maybe a lime kind of a thing. Uh, the skin looks like, you know, you know, Davy Jones from um, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's like really wrinkly, but yeah, it's, it tastes a bit, it's like a citrusy uh, soy sauce. So this is a sauce that you can use for your oysters as well, or just to dip your sashimi in or to make your carpaccio. It's like a very versatile dressing that I'm going to show you. So keep this in mind and try it with your oysters one day. All it is, is two parts of yuzu dressing. You can buy this from pretty much any Asian uh, supermarket. There's a few different brands, but this is my favorite. Um, so yeah, it's got the yellow lid in case you didn't see. And it comes from Japan. So two parts yuzu dressing. To one part soy sauce. And that's it. I'm gonna make a little bit extra because we're gonna make a big plate. And microplane the garlic in there. You need to get this garlic as fine as possible so it's not, you don't get chunks of garlic in your mouth. So just lightly microplane it. And I don't recommend using the jar crushed garlic. I suggest you use fresh garlic. You can make this dressing in, in advance the day before. Uh, actually the longer you leave it the more the flavors develop especially with the garlic. It sort of releases its flavors um, as time goes by. And that's it. That's your dressing there, okay? You can set that aside. Now moving on to the veggies, like I said, jalapeno pepper and we use, yeah, let's use this one. And a radish. So you wanna cut these as fine as possible. So basically you need one slice for each piece of sashimi that you're serving. I think that should be enough. And then same thing with your jalapeno peppers. Doesn't have to be too thin, the jalapeno peppers. You want a bit of spice in it. Basically with these jalapeno peppers, you want to get rid of all the seeds and these little white parts as well. If you don't like chili, this is optional. I like the heat, so I always add this. Or if you don't want it to be too hot, you can use a cayenne pepper, which is sort of like one, you know, one level of heat below this. Doesn't matter if it breaks or they're not the most perfect looking. I'm not a sushi chef, so my chopping isn't exactly perfect. So you want to put the sauce on just before you serve it. When you leave it sitting in the sauce for too long, it tastes a bit funny. Not funny, but it sort of like starts cooking in, its, in the acidity of the dressing. So basically... And again, with your sashimi, serve it at room temperature. As the, as the fish sits out and comes to room temperature, the fats start melting and the flavor starts developing. Even after you serve it, if it's, I, I did serve it cold once and I realized later to bring it to room temperature. As the dish sat there from my first bite to my second or third bite, there was just so much more flavor. And then let's get our radish on first. The radish adds a nice crunch and sort of counters the, the dressing, so this you don't want to skip this step. Grab your dressing. And you can put a little bit on top, but you sort of want to go mainly around the sides of the 
fish. It doesn't matter if it sort of touches the fish. But you sort of want to flood the plate with this dressing. Okay. And then uh, with your sprouts, you've got two options. You can either sort of place each piece on one by one. You know, something like that. Make it look fancy. Or I like, when I eat it, it actually tastes really good with the sprouts. So I like to sort of cover the whole dish with the sprouts and every bite I like to sort of pick up you know the sprouts like five six pieces of sprouts for every bite next dinner party you have be sure to try this anyone who's tried it has always been like oh my god what's the recipe tell me you know or what's the dressing where do you get it from how do you make it so it's it pleases everyone it's a really good dish and that's it if there's any other Condiments you want to put on top, you can, but I find this combination works really well.